Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for November 1st through the 14th. So, let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Scorpio? November 1st through the 14th. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. November 1st through the 14th. What do we have for Scorpio? Light. Imagine yourself as a being composed of energy and light. Because in reality, that's precisely what you are. You are a powerful being and people are attracted to your brilliance. This is the time to remember how vibrant you truly are. So you are vibrating at a very high level. Which you should be, because it's your time, right? It's Scorpio season, so you probably are. This is your, it's your time. It's your time to vibrate high. It's your, oh, I cannot think of the words. Um, solar return. So you are. This is perfect time for you. So what do we have for Scorpio? Vibrating so bright. People are attracted to you. You're very attractive during this time. Navigating by the stars. Follow your bliss. So, I gotta continue with the theme and read it. Trust your gut. Have faith that a higher power is directing your life. Believe. Allow your life decisions to be dictated by what opens your heart and by what brings you joy. Relax. Be patient. Follow your bliss. Your life is divinely guided. All is going according to a wonderful plan for your life. Be confident that all is well. Sometimes you can't see the road ahead, but when you become still, you can feel the right way to go. It's like navigating by the stars. You might not be able to see every detail of the path of your life, but when you trust the light of the stars, your silent spirit guardians, and the joy of your guiding north star to navigate in the darkness, in the morning light, you find yourself at the right place at the right time. So this is, I mean, we have light, basically, guidance a couple times. You're being guided down a path. You are. You will be easily guided. You will see it very clearly. There will be no confusion, okay? So, it looks, I mean, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. I think that, and if you think about stars, stars is famous, okay? It's shining. You're definitely going to be glowing, okay? Put it that way. Um, you're going to be very, very um, illuminated during this time. So what do we have for Scorpio? Four of Swords Reverse. Now the Four of Swords Reverse is exhausted. Need to slow down. You may, could be frustrated. Okay. Need to take a break. Need to really take a break. Extremely tired. Ah, the Fool Reverse. Now the Fool Reversed is... Bad timing, which is interesting. It's it's uh, somebody that ignores advice, heading for a fall. Okay, this is no faith, headed for a fall. Um, but the Ace of Wands is is an exciting new opportunity. This is a new vision, a new drive, a new desire, new spark, a sudden desire. There could be a sudden change here, a sudden change in direction. That you didn't see coming. The fool reversed. A need to have faith. Very, very fearful. Foolish behavior. This is lack of judgment. Impulsive. Impulsive. Somebody may do something impulsive. Make a poor judge. Be careful. Somebody may make a poor judgment call due to desires. You know, your desires could get the best of you. Just saying. Um... Three of Cups reversed. Ace of Swords. Now the Ace of Swords is a truth, a power. Seeing the truth, the truth being spoken. 
You need to, you have some people that are gossiping. You have some enemies that that's disguised as friends. I think that you really need to be careful. There's going to be a termination. Friends parting ways. Uh, there's extreme competitiveness here. Uh, this party is over with the Three of Cups. I think there's something that has left you exhausted. Okay, the party is over. It's time to relax. It's time to take a break. It's time to retreat. Um, now you have a new life ahead of you, a new exciting opportunity, but you're going to be receiving some sort of factual information that there's. this is not celebration. Okay, it's not celebrating. It may not make you happy, but, but... There is an exciting new opportunity here, okay? So this is like a termination of some sort, termination of a friendship or a party or a, no reunion, uh, no celebration. Uh, the truth, seeing the truth, truth coming out, um, facts. Ooh, Knight of Swords, 501, the end of the struggle, the end of it. This, this conflict is over. I mean, you know, there's been some sort of tug of war. The tug of the games are over. The comp competition is over. Okay, this is the end of the competition. Um, Knight of Swords reverse. No, no. Hmm. Hmm. Knight of Swords reverse. Now, it feels like there's no victory here. Just being honest with you. This is... Uh, Losing. <laughs> Knight of Swords reverse. Not winning. Getting getting stopped. Five of Wands reverse is the end of a battle. It's the end of a conflict. It's the end of the war. Um, Exhausted, extremely exhausted. We have somebody here that is very, very tired. Okay, they definitely need to take a break. There's some sort of unprepared, unprepared for something. This is unprepared. Unprepared, I don't know if there's, there is going to be a full-scale battle. This could be a battle, a fight, you know, some sort of competition. You may be unprepared for something. A new partner. Okay, this could be, for some of you, it's a new sexual partner. The Ace of Wands means new, new sexual partner. This is unprepared. Okay. Some sort of competition coming in. You may be unprepared for some sort of competition or some sort of news that is coming. You probably, this is unprepared. Unprepared for this new attraction, this new desire, this new drive, this new direction. This is unprepared. So I do feel like you are going to be unprepared for something. We, we do have a new beginning here. This is a new new idea, new truth, something like that. That comes after a, it feels like a departure or something. A termination, um, parting ways. After a party ends, you know, the party ends. Now you see the truth. You accept the truth. That is accepting the truth. In no hurry, though, a need to slow down. You really need to slow down. Whatever the hell that means. Slow down. Slow down. You need to slow, slow yourself down. Take a break. Relax. Relax. I feel like a lot of you um, have been in a hurry. You've been really trying to do too much. And I feel like you need to take a break. Um, King of Wands reverse. This is unhealthy. Um, egotistical. Uh... Impulsive. We have impulsiveness here a few times. We have somebody here doing something impulsively, very egotistical, very unreasonable. We have somebody here that is being unreasonable, that is leading others into danger. This person is dangerous, you know. Um, very conceited, very self-centered. Uh, very, uh, this is like a tyrant here. We have somebody here that likes to fight very, very, very highly competitive that has caused you to be exhausted this is mentally exhausting but this party is over it's over because this is parting ways okay um parting ways from this individual feels like it's a fire sign aries leo sagittarius could be a an air sign gemini libra aquarius but this is the truth 
This is acceptance, accepting the truth, angry, somebody may get angry, they may get angry when some sort of truth comes out, there's anger here, headed for a fall. Magician, Gemini. Ah, this is this is somebody that has all the resources and all the tools to be successful. So this is the successor. So we have somebody here that is doing whatever it takes to get what they want. This is somebody that is very skilled. Very, very, very skilled. This person is, is getting what they want. Okay? Um, spur of the moment decision this is a decision being made the two of wands the decision is being made for the future this is a yes yes I'm going down that path. Somebody is going down a path, a very exciting path, a choice. They have the choice has been made. The decision has been made. Somebody is taking action. They are choosing to go down a new path that is very passionate. This is passion. We have a passionate new beginning here. The magician takes action to succeed. There's some sort of rivalry here with the Five of Wands. That's a, that's a strong battle, strong competition, but the competition is over. The magician has the resources, has the tools to succeed, and does succeed. So this magician is succeeding. Now that Ace of Wands is a new exciting opportunity. It's passionate love or hate. I feel as though you are being it's almost like being forced to make a spur of the moment decision this is a spur of the moment decision it is a sudden decision it is this is a sudden choice a sudden decision so yeah there's some sort of spur of the moment decision here and it is about following your bliss going down a new path you're going to be making a decision in regards to a new path that is presented to you okay this is something totally unexpected you weren't planning on going down this path but now it's right in front of you you know um And I feel like it's bad timing because of that fool reversed. There's been somebody's made a poor judgment call with that fool reversed. They've made a poor judgment call. Now they're going to be going down a new path. And there's going to be, I think there's some anger associated with it. Anger over, you know, um, losing a battle or losing a friendship. There is some sort of information that is coming that is probably not going to make you happy. Okay, it's not going to make you happy. It may make you very upset. It may, it may make you very, very upset. But this, this gives you the opportunity to go down a new path. You know what I'm saying? I feel as though you are going to be doing something brand new okay this is a new vision you're going to get some new epiphany this new this new idea this new uh well you're definitely going to be going down a new path that you did not expect um you may and this is like bad timing at the place at the right place at the right time you may run into somebody all of a sudden okay this could be like a what is this like serendipity you know, you may run into somebody 
uh, and there's a sudden attraction, there's a sudden desire, there's a sudden spark, you know, this is like a sudden meetup, it's all of us, it's like uh, love at first sight, you know, if it's not love or desire, or it doesn't appear that it's love, but it feels like it's some sort of attraction, okay, it doesn't look like it's love, it's attraction, instant attraction, instant attraction, that's what it is, it's instant attraction. So I do feel like you are going to be running into somebody. It's almost, and I feel like you are destined to run into this person. And, but if you feel like it's bad timing, okay, because of that fool card reverse and not the right time for you to go down this path. But this path is presented to you at this time, whether you like it or not, you know, which is interesting. Um, I feel as though uh, you need to you need to slow down. I think that you I think that you're moving really fast as well. And you may run into somebody. I mean, and, and there, this could even be an accident. But everything happens for a reason. You know, everything happens for a reason. You really need to slow down. This is moving way too fast. Something is moving way too fast, and you need to slow down. Um, I don't know what is going on with my phone. You do have some sort of communication coming in. We have an awakening here. A spiritual awakening. There's some sort of divine connection. I do feel like you're going to be at the right place at the right time and you are going to meet up with somebody that you are divinely connected to. And I don't say that very often. But that Three of Cups is parting ways. Parting ways uh, from somebody, friends, family, whatever. A third party. No more partying. You know, if you've been if you've been partying, you need to stop partying. Stop partying. That's a message for some of you. This party is over. Okay? It is. It's time to slow down. It's time to take a break. It's time to get grounded. It's time of manifestation. So some of you may just need to take a break and start manifesting this new opportunity. There is a neat there is a new opportunity here. It's an exciting opportunity. It's a new partnership of some sort. But you need time. You need time to to manifest it. You need time to uh, open yourself up to it. It feels like right now um, you have a lot of people around you and they're draining you. They're draining your energy. I, I really feel like you need to take a break. You need to relax. You need to heal. You need to recover from, from something. There's, it's a time of recovery is needed. And it's, it's time for you to, to, to go down a new path. I feel like you're in, in your travels, you're, gonna run, you're not even looking where you're going. You're going to run into somebody that you are meant to run into. Put it that way. I feel like it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um... Two of Wands, that's a spur of the moment decision. You're at a crossroads. Do you go or do you stay? You're gonna, and this is making a decision. I think that you are going to know that it's time to go. It's time to go, but there's fear. There's fear in the way. There's fear in the way of giving something a chance. You are definitely gonna have a strong attraction, a strong pull, a strong pull to go in a new direction towards somebody that is very vibrant okay uh very 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 uh attractive to you you have a very attractive opportunity right in front of you um You may be you may be suddenly leaving. Maybe you're suddenly leaving, suddenly going going somewhere. I feel like you've been waiting and waiting and waiting in some sort of uh, anticipation, 
what you've asked for is coming. You've asked for this and maybe you've asked for it subconsciously. Something that you've asked for with that magician card is coming. Even if you ask for it in your dreams, you know, or under your breath or whatever. I also see expansion, okay? Or new business partnerships, expansion overseas, working with people you've never worked with before, you know? So that could be for some of you. Um, I do see lack of contentment, though. I feel like you're, you, you're feeling discontent with your current circumstances, um, but I do, I do feel like you're, you're moving in a new direction towards something very, very exciting that has potential for growth. It's a very fertile time. You asked for some sort of, uh, it's like you asked for some sort of new partner. You asked for something and here it is. It's right here. Here it is. A new partnership of some sort. Some of you are moving. You're moving. You're, you're parting ways from somebody that uh, may have been abusive. There's some, it's almost like a narcissist. I feel like you were dealing with a narcissist. I feel like this narcissist has been abusing you. It feels like there's mental abuse here. Um, this person is a know-it-all. You can't reason with this person for any reason whatsoever. It's like you're letting them win. You win. I'm out. Goodbye. Good luck.